Did you know you can actually buy the Land Rover Defender as a two-door? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you why most people don't. Now, obviously, the Defender 90 doesn't have any rear doors, meaning you have to go through the front seat to get into the back. Now, the way that you do that here on the driver's side is pretty simple. You just pull this little plastic tab right here. But unlike a lot of vehicles that cost $100,000, tipping the seat forward doesn't automatically move the seat. You just have to click this button, and then it will go all the way up automatically. But here's where it really starts to get annoying. As you saw, all I had to do was tap the button and it went up automatically. But because Land Rover doesn't want you to crush the legs of whoever's in the back seat, you have to hold the button all the way until it goes back to the original position. That is so annoying. Now that's assuming I even have a power seat at all because here on the passenger side, if I tip the seat forward, if I go to push those buttons, you can see that they're actually blank. Now I could use the passenger's power seat adjustments, but that would be really slow. Instead, Land Rover actually gives you a manual lever. Just pull it and the seat will actually slide forward. Honestly, I think that's even a little bit. Just pull it and the seat will actually slide forward. Honestly, I think that's even a little bit easier than it is on the driver's side. The back seat isn't massive, but you can fit back here as an adult just fine. You even get your own climate controls and USB ports. A nice view at the sky, including these really cool safari windows, and you even get access to the refrigerator here in the armrest.